again we've set up the model um, we've got we know we didn't need to change any materials boundary conditions have been selected let's go into the solution and double click on methods so at the moment it's got a simple scheme that's selected we can select the coupled scheme and when it comes to the spatial discretization we can leave that as is again if you want more information about what each of these terms actually mean best to check the help and we can go into controls like we were talking about before if you're having issues later on with convergence you can always change that and let's import a report definition let's go new let's look at a force report let's look at lift All right so I'm just going to call it front wing lift it's going to be in the positive or it's going to actually going to be in the negative y direction the wall zone I'm going to select is the front wing and I want a report file, I want to plot it and I want to print to console as well. All right, press OK, close that. We can see that we've got a monitor that's automatically being created as well for the, downfall, or for the front wing lift. Now it's again we were talking previously about initializing float. This is where you'd initialize it. Just use your standard, your, your, sorry, your hybrid initialization. Just press initialize. What this is pretty much doing is putting velocity vectors or putting velocity values in all the cells so after it's been initialized I'll have a look at the graphics and show you what it means now that the hybrid initialization has been done um, let's just have a look at the results let's go contours and let's just fill in pressure on the symmetry plane Right, so not much has happened there. Got velocity as well. So we can see that it's it's already tried to almost guess what the velocity vectors will be around here. Right. Let's check the wheel out. We can see that we've got some velocity around the wheel as well, as expected. Brilliant. All right, so let's just exit that and we want to start to run some solutions. So Let's just give it uh, 50 iterations and we'll let it calculate. In the meantime, we'll go back to our presentation.